Okay, <clears throat> sorry about that. Um, hello everyone. Hope you're doing good today. I have decided to do at least one more stream of this game because uh, last night I was trying to find another game to play, and in the middle of downloading it, it was like kind of late. But I was downloading it, and at the very end, the download failed. And this was after waiting like, like, two hours for it to download. So I, uh, <laughs> I gave up. Um, so that wasn't happening anymore. But it'll it'll happen next week, maybe. Um. Also, the music will. Oh, wait, never mind. We're good. But yeah, I'm maybe uh, going to play. <laughs> okay, you guys are gonna laugh at this. But I was thinking of playing Fire Emblem Engage because I really want to play a Fire Emblem game. And Engage is the only one that I haven't really played. And I thought it was kind of funny to go through how cringe it is. But sometimes it really might be a bit too cringe for me, so we'll see how those how that goes. Hi, Mom Moo. Hope you're doing good. Uh, but other than that, I have a couple of games that I want to play with my friends, so those will also come whenever they're available. Uh, to name a few, one of them will be Content Warning, um, which is like this like lethal company YouTuber mix thing, and. Kirby Air Ride, which you're probably wondering, how are you playing that with your friends? Well, there is a way to play with play with people online with that game, so that should be fun. And then maybe some Stardew Valley. I don't know. We'll see. But after today, that will kind of be the lineup for games that I'm playing. Since I feel these, um, as much as I like this game, the streams for this one aren't really going that well. So I think I, I, I gotta shift my focus onto something else. But uh, for the time being, because of what happened last night, we'll have one more day of this and then um, I'll get everything set up over the weekend. But anyways, I don't remember what we're doing. I guess we'll just go in order. I saw a familiar face as I entered. It was Mizuki. Iris and I sat at Mizuki's table. Wow, this is surprising. What's going on here? Why are you two together? <laughs> Why does she sound oh, no. so? <laughs> Why does she sound that? Yeah. Why are you two together? <laughs> you stay last night. Oh, no trouble at all. Anytime. You can even live with me if you want. <laughs> That's a great idea. The roommate I have right now really sucks. Okay, bitch. Yeah, this girl. <laughs> um, what are we doing here? I don't even remember anything. What are you gonna do? Scold me or something? Why do you care what I do? Why are you so angry? I'm not angry. In fact, I'm feeling good. Um, excuse me. The mermaid took me to the corner of the store. Mizuki was crying earlier. Crying? Yes. We were trying to cheer her up. What happened to her mom was... And we thought she was having a hard time. She must have come here looking for company. That's probably why she stayed with Iris last night. She didn't want to be alone. Shoko's body is still under the jurisdiction of the police. There has not been a ceremony, nor has the body been cremated. The culprit has not been caught, and we cannot locate Renju. And on top of that, her roommate has abandoned her. I'm working! I did not abandon her. In any case, there are many ways you could calm Mizuki down. Mizuki is just trying to act strong. Please, try to understand. The 
police asked me a bunch of questions. But I don't know where he is. Why are you asking me about that? I was just curious. That company was made by my grandpa. But daddy has nothing to do with it. I don't know anything about the warehouse. I thought I told you this already. Don't ask me the same questions over and over. Date, look. She's lying? Possibly. She may just be excited or upset. Um... I've heard that Renji was sighted here. When do you mean? When? I got the info a few minutes ago, but I don't know when he was seen. Oh. Ringing any bells? Well, he hasn't come by today, but yesterday. Yesterday? But I was here yesterday. It was after that. After you and Ota left. Why didn't you tell me sooner? You didn't ask. And I don't have any way to contact you. Damn it. We just missed it. He was looking for Iris. He was asking everyone where she was. Looking for me? Yeah. Did he give a reason? No, not in particular. Iris, can you think of why he would be looking for you? No, not at all. Azuki? I don't know either. Anything else? Well, he did seem really sick. He was pale and sweating a lot. It must have been because of the accident. Perhaps. Um. Mr. Okira helped me when I was just starting out. You know how my mom is single? He really supported her. He even changed my diaper when I was a little baby. I got hired by Lemniscape all because of him. Iris used to stream all her own content. Like singing and dancing and gaming and stuff. But before we knew it, she went viral. Right, I heard about that. That's how she started getting offers, right? But because Iris's mom knows Renju, she decided to go with Lemniscape. But there's more to it than that. There are other reasons. Daddy was totally taken in by her talent. Her talent? <laughs> what talent? Dancing, really. Her dancing is what got her into Are you into sure? Lemniscape. We saw her dancing last time. It was pretty bad. <laughs> that she would be talented. He didn't want any other agencies to have her. I didn't know that. Daddy's not the type to give compliments. <laughs> this is kind of embarrassing. I didn't know he thought of me that way. I don't care about her dancing. Iris, I still need to know. What were you doing Sunday at 2 a.m.? You haven't fulfilled your promise. This is the date. I fulfilled my promise. I told you. No info until the date is complete. Don't you get it? This date isn't over yet. Ugh. What else do I have to ask? Okay, I finished music cue. Okay, I guess I'm gonna, I have to ask her about her dancing. More than sleeping and eating? Well, maybe about the same as eating. Anyway, I've always loved moving my body ever since I was a little girl. And you're fast, too. Yeah, I did a lot of track meets. Were you always the anchor? Mm-hmm. That's amazing. 
Hey, want to hear something cool? No. Iris is the goddess of rainbows in Greek mythology. She's the messenger of the gods. She's really fast. Rainbows being so fast to disappear was the source of the legend. You're as fast as your namesake, then. You want to race? <laughs> sure. When we get the chance. What? What are you talking about? Oh, the guy. Oh, okay. I don't want. No. Mizuki comes here a lot. She's really friendly with everyone. I like it here. Everyone treats me nice. Is it because you're the daughter of the owner? No, it's not like that. We're BFFs. Also, because it's a maid cafe, they're supposed to be nice to everyone. <laughs> Kiura family is really something else. <sighs> what else? Do I really have to ask her about a dance? She's my friend from back when I worked here. We would hang out outside of work too. We go to haunted places and UFO sightings and stuff. Blow those boys away! Blow those boys away! Yeah, blow those boys! Oh god. <laughs> Mizuki, uh... You really shouldn't say that. <sighs> okay. Right here? Oh, I want to see too! Me too! I would also like to see that. Just show us! But... Alright, I'll go set up! Wait! I'm gonna do this and hurry it off. Jeez! Fine, if you insist. Yay! Alright, world! Oh god. Get ready! To watch this? No! Oh no! This is really loud. Uh, <laughs> not to ruin the moment, but I have to turn this down. <laughs> No way she's singing! Oh my god! A permanent fire, cold frost on the fire, fruit never expires. You've seen in your eyes. Dude, she sucks! Oh god! It. I'm like pressing everything. It's not letting me. Yikes. song mr okira wrote the music and i wrote the lyrics those are some whack lyrics a special place in my heart that's right i forgot he wrote music yeah he's really talented i look up to him he's done so much for me i know i can rely on him more than anyone else <sighs> is that it are we done thank god unfortunately we didn't find renji here 
we discovered that he was looking for The items. game really forced me to watch that. <laughs> Why? We can think about that later. Let's get going. Yeah, you're right. Me and Trash Queen were talking about this game the other day, and we're like... Date and Iva are literally the only good characters in this game. Everyone like is either boring or just straight up sucks. Also, the animation in this game is really funny. Like the way they're walking. You okay? <laughs> it's okay. It's all the I dancing just, she did. Uh... <laughs> I missed a step there. Ugh. It's nostalgic. This place is a memorable one for me. Six years ago, I used to come here with someone. Someone? I used to call him uncle. He was a thoughtful, reliable man. I thought of him as a father. But one day, he just disappeared. She's talking about... Hitomi's lover. When you asked me why I became an idol, I wasn't being entirely truthful. I told you that it was because I wanted to become famous. But more specifically, it was for uncle. I've been looking for him for six years, but I didn't find him anywhere. I didn't know where else to look. So instead of me finding him, I thought that he could find me instead. You think if you became famous, he'd contact you? Yeah. So that is why she became an idol. I mean, it's also been my dream since I was little. That's a part of it, too. So why do you use the name Asa? Shouldn't you use your real name? Oh no, I don't have to. He was the one who came up with the name Aset. He told me that if I ever became an idol, I should use that name. Mr. Okura isn't here. I mean, of course he isn't. It's not like he came here right away. He's already taken off. Too bad. It looks like there are no further clues here. It appears we've wasted our time. True. It's called Ikume Iribiko Isachi no Mikoto. Or sometimes Ikume Tenno. <laughs> Said that Ikume in the Ikume most no like American there way possible. This place written in the old text. It's a shrine dedicated to the gods. The old legend goes like this. One day, Ikume Iribiko sent one of his followers, Taji Momori, on an urgent quest to find a mysterious, magical fruit. A fruit called Tokijuku no Kaku. It's said that eating it will grant you immortality. After many hardships, Taji Momori was able to find the fruit. But by the time he got back, Ikume Iribiko had died. Taji Momori mourned. He handed half of the fruit to the man's wife, and he left the other half on Ikume Iribiko's grave, then died on the spot. <laughs> it is said that that fruit is- I am now dies on his grave. <laughs> really? Fruit of immortality. Yes. That's all I have. Not interested? No, not really. I'd rather have normality than immortality. Okay, I wasn't clicking on the shrine game! A flower over there. Flower? You can't see it from here, can you? I know it's there because I've been to this shrine before. What? Oh, you want me to move the camera? Maybe? Oh, you mean like those flowers? Or, oh, no. An iris. 
more specifically, a winter iris. This is the same flower that was on display at Iris's house. Yeah, how did you know? It's the same kind that's at my house. I told you about what it means, right? Good news and hope. Iris is also a part of the Eye. And the Greek goddess of rainbows. A messenger goddess. I told you at Sunfish Pocket, right? That's why the flower means good news and hope. Date, we have no time to waste. We should get moving. Got it. Your corpse, Iris. Right here. But I'm here now. Maybe I'm a ghost. You don't look like a floating sheet. You have legs. But maybe they're not legs. Maybe they're my boobs. Okay, let's not... Yeah, let's not do that. <laughs> Didn't you say that you saved me in your dream? What did you mean by that? I told you that I'm with an organization called Abyss, right? Yeah, you told me two days ago. We find clues in the minds of suspects and witnesses. We enter what we call Somnia, a dream world projected by their subconscious. That's what the entire organization is about. How do you even do that? We have a machine that we call the Sync Machine. What is that? It's a Sync Machine. That's not an explanation. Tell me how it works. Well, um, I can explain, but it will require a bit of background to understand. Background? <laughs> Nano Nano machines. <laughs> Technology related to really small things, like really teeny tiny things. And when they make a machine, they're called nanomachines. I heard they use them a lot for medical and tech fields. Some of the cutting edge nanomachines can even go inside your body and cure illnesses. They can even cure cancer. And they go beep, beep, beep. That's what mom said. Well, I don't know if it was like beep, beep or rrr, rrr. But anyway, nanotechnology costs tons of money. Only a few people can even afford it. My college professor said only the richest of the rich have nanotechnology. But he's pretty liberal, so... Largely accurate. Nano is a prefix meaning 10 to the negative 9th power. A nanometer is therefore 0 0.00000001 liters. The sync machine uses machines approximately 2.16 nanometers long. Viruses are on average 20 to 970 nanometers. So sync nanomachines are far smaller than that. This allows them to access neural circuitry. During a sync, the nanomachines are used to write in the synchrous data. I've heard of it. The blood brain barrier, right? Inside the skull, there's an army of little teeny tiny soldiers that surround the brain. They protect the brain from bad stuff in the blood, right? That's almost it, yeah. The blood-brain barrier describes the architecture of the microvessels of the brain. It is a kind of shield that protects the brain. To get through, an object must be no larger than 0.4 nanometers. Objects too large to slip through the barrier cannot physically access the brain. I guess not. No, I know what it is. It's the core programming behind AI, right? That's right. What's wrong? What? You're shivering. It's nothing. Don't worry about it. Hmm? To borrow Peter's explanation, with the advent of the Wadjet system, we can... I mean, also, she could have just said that she was cold. I mean, this she's wearing brain, shorts and, like, a freezer room. <laughs> 
Okay, you have the basics down. Let me explain how sinking works. Sinkers like me equip the sink gear and use it to access the subject's brain. Inside the helmet are nano cables. And on the tip of each of these cables is a special nano machine. But the machine can't reach the brain through blood alone. Do you know why? The BBB soldiers say go away and push them back? Well, yeah, kind of. But for the sink to work, we have to get the nano machines into the brain itself. How do we do that? Every time I hear nano machines, I just think of Aunt mm. Senator Armstrong. <laughs> it's too much. <laughs> no, it has nothing to do with tools. We don't have to open a hole. Skulls already have holes in them. One of those holes is the optic canal, which is a nerve canal located behind the eyes. The nano cables of the sink gear go through your eyes, then go to the back of your eye socket. Then, through the optic canal to the sea. The sea? The sea of brain cells, anyway. That sounds kind of romantic. It's only a chunk of protein. Oh my god. Once the nano cables arrive at their destination, they can begin the sink process. They slide into the brain like roots of a tree. And on the tip of each cable, the nano machine sends and receives data. This is controlled by the Wadjet system. And that's how the sinker and the subject exchange information. Exchange? Think of it this way. The human brain has a max capacity of one psyche, one consciousness. Multiple instances of consciousness inside one brain can cause a total collapse of higher brain functions. You know how a car only has one steering wheel? If there were two, there would be accidents all over the place. Well, don't some planes have two control sticks? Okay, eh, maybe it wasn't the best metaphor. What I'm trying to say is that the human body can only hold one person. If you try to have two people inside one brain, it will break. I see. Oh, why doesn't he just go straight into it? Because of this, the sinker's data goes inside the subject's brain. And the only thing inside the subject's mind at the time of the sink are their memories. Like a house with no one inside. We sinkers break into the house, look for clues, and leave. All within six minutes. There's a time limit? Yes, or else the house will collapse on our heads. The neural circuits would become too deeply entwined with one another. To put it simply, the sinker would be trapped inside the subject's house. Thank you for explaining it. I don't completely understand how sink works, but still. Just don't tell anyone. This is extremely confidential. It's okay, I won't. Date, tell me this. Hmm? Who did you sync with yesterday? Didn't I show you his picture? Congressman So Sejima. So that's why you know so much about him. But you've never met him, right? I haven't, I swear. Hey, Date, you saw my corpse here, right? I did. I'm sure of it. And in so Dude, it is so cold where I live right now. Yeah. But like, it was like, it was kind of hot two days ago. Yeah. And now it's mm. like freezing. Date, that means you're. Achoo! Date, is the cold too much for Iris? <laughs> yeah, speaking of yeah, cold. I'm freezing too. Ugh! What is with this weather? Roger that. Like spring doesn't exist in California. I swear, it just goes straight from winter to summer, or just bounces between the two seasons for in in spring. I'll have my usual Ota. Yes, right away. I can't believe this annoying ass weeb kid is like still relevant to the story. Like I thought we were gonna dump him. about your coming back to life. Hold it! What do you mean, coming back to life? Uh... Da 
Date jumped into a parallel world where I'm still alive. Tessa died? Yep. Yeah, I have. Have you met Ota's mother, Mayumi? Yeah, but I don't think she likes me. <laughs> That's not true. Mom is just jealous of how pretty you are, Tessa. Not very reassuring. Whether out of jealousy or otherwise, she still doesn't like Iris. Omelette rice! Ota's omelette rice is so good it gives me stomach cramps. Is that a compliment? <laughs> You're embarrassing me. Well, Ota appears to have taken it as a compliment. She's in the living room. I think she's watching TV. How about you? What are you doing here? I was just doing some meditation, lying on the ground. He means sleeping. Date, why are you with Tessa? <laughs> we are. Not Shovel Forge. On a date. Oh, a date. Huh. A date? I'm on an investigation, and she wouldn't let me go. Date, I have some delicious fugu eggs. I promise they're not poisoned. Would you like some? No thanks. I'm fine. You're still looking for him? Well, like I told you before, I don't know. Yeah. My dad taught me when I was little. You're making me something too, right? Sure. My treat, Date. <laughs> After he said he'd poison it. Hey, can you tell me about this parallel world idea in more detail? Oh, sure. How should I explain this? Well... Um... Oh, I know. Let's play rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors? Yeah, if we tie, nothing happens. We just shake hands. If I win, you have to give me something. What if I win? I'll do anything. A anything? Mm-hmm. Anything. Date, your heart rate is rapidly oh. increasing. Why exactly is that? All right, let's do this. Okay, let's go. One, two, three, shoot. I always do rock. Shoot. A tie. The most boring result. Well, we agreed on the rules. Let's shake hands. Shaky, shaky. We just played rock, paper, scissors, right? We tied and shook hands. But in a different timeline, maybe I got a reward from you. Or maybe you could have seen me naked or something. Why did I choose rock? Because rock is a good old reliable. So those timelines are what I call a parallel world. So you think I jumped from a world in which you were dead to this one where you're alive? That's what I think. Huh. Parallel world, huh? I can't believe it, but... Sure you can. Parallel worlds exist. Do you know about the Mandela effect? Or the Booba Kiki effect? Or the 100 million balls? If I explain that, would you believe me? Sounds really interesting, Tessa. <sighs> I know some urban legends like that. The spatial temporal man, and the lost friend, and the story of two sisters. I've only heard about the Mandela effect. I have no idea what these two are. Date, look at this picture. Oh, it's oh, okay, it's that thing. There's a famous experiment regarding this picture. You show this image to people around the world and, and ask the which one's named what, which one right? Is Booba yeah. And which one is Kiki? Believe it or not, 98% of people asked have the same answer. The rounder one is Booba, and the jagged one is Kiki. Isn't that weird? 
In other words, everyone thinks that Booba is a certain way, and Kiki is the other. It applies universally across languages and cultures. It's like something ingrained inside all humans. Well, I always figure that the 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 booba one is like round, like because there's like O's and U's and stuff. While Kiki has like very sharp noises in in the um, name, so I thought that was the way. Like worshiping the sun and the sea, or thinking that the mother is soft and the father is jagged. Regardless of your culture or background, you probably think this way. It's what Jung called the collective unconscious. There exists a second psychic system of a collective, universal, and impersonal nature, which is identical in all individuals. That's what Jung said about it. Think of it like bamboo. Bamboo stalks look like individual plants since they're separated. But underground, they're all connected. Human psyches might be like that too, connected at a subconscious level. That's... A parallel world? Yeah! You saved me in the dream, right? And dreams are all about our subconscious minds. So if you follow the roots... You get to another bamboo stalk. Yeah, something like that. This world is full of really interesting stuff. But you know the most interesting thing of all? No, what? That humans exist at all. The universe developed in a very particular way to get here. If things were even slightly different, well... The galaxies and solar system and all of that might not have existed at all. And that means humans would never be born. And even if everything happened exactly like that, the probability of human life developing is extremely low. And yet, here we are. What does it have to do with a hundred million? To okay, no, but she's going to explain it. Labeled one to a hundred million. Would you be able to pick out the one? Not likely. But what if there were 100 million of you? Well, then one of us would definitely pick up the one. Exactly! The birth of humanity is so improbable that it's basically a miracle. But if there were multiple universes... Then it wouldn't be strange that at least one of them had humans in it. She is describing the anthropic principle. I may have underestimated her intelligence. Do you know Nelson Mandela? Well, yeah. The former president of South Africa. He helped abolish apartheid. He died in 2013, but a strange thing happened. When the news broke, people all over the world thought, didn't Mandela die in prison in 1980? That's the Mandela effect. It's when your memory and history have discrepancies. There are lots of examples. Like the name of this kid's book with the bears having different spellings. Oh, the or bears. Remembering that Kennedy yeah. was assassinated in a four-seat car. But in our world, he was in a six-seat car. Huh. I thought it was a four-seater, too. Or that electric mouse from that video game. You probably remember the tip of its tail being black. It wasn't? Nope. It's all yellow. And the design didn't change. Oh. Lines from movies, company logos, historical... I'm pretty events, sure the one, they just talk about the Pikachu one. I'm pretty sure they're just mixing everywhere. it up with Pichu and Pikachu. Why do you think that is? Because those memories are... That's what the, the mix-up is. would explain it, I guess. So, there's this girl. Let's call her... B. She's practicing piano in her room, and her little sister is watching TV in the same room. B asks her to turn the TV volume down so she can hear her piano play, you know? So B goes back to practicing, playing a little bit. But her sister doesn't turn the volume down. She's not listening at all. So B turns around to scold her. She was really gonna let her sister have it. But she's gone. She's nowhere to be seen. She thinks, huh, I wonder where she went. But then, B hears her sister at the door. I'm home. B runs to the front door and sees her sister and her parents standing there. So B asks, when did you go outside? 
But her mom says, what are you talking about? She went shopping with me. Mi is really confused by all of this, of course. She asks her little sister about it, and she learns that her favorite TV show was on. And before she went shopping with her mom, she was deciding whether or not she wanted to stay and watch it or not. So depending on her decision, a parallel world was made. Yeah. What B saw might have been from the world where her sister stayed behind. Yeah, it's sort of like a common experience. A lot of people have experienced waking up in an uninhabited world they've never seen before. And most of them describe seeing the same person. The Spatial Temporal Man. He's supposed to be an ordinary old man wearing work clothes. The Spatial Temporal Man guides people back to the real world. He tells them, this world is not for you, or something. I'd like to meet him someday. Oh, I might. Oh, whoops, I was supposed to. Okay, I <laughs> thought So, this elementary school kid, let's call him C. He goes to school and there's a bunch of things on the floor postcards, towels, a coffee cup, rice bowls, a sink, lots of stuff. But C realized. So, Katoa. Okay. In his own house. I don't even remember how So Katoa even works anymore. No one knows. It's not like anyone did it on purpose, or there was a thief or anything. Maybe something happened that made two parallel worlds fuse. Yeah, maybe. I know a ton of stories like this. Like being suddenly transported one year into the future, and there's a missing persons report out for you. You look down at your phone, but you realize that it's not yours. It's not the one you remember having. You look through the contacts. And what is Sokotoa even used for again? It's for. There's it's something. I know it's geometry. But like, is, is, is it for like triangles or something? But they're speaking a completely different language. And all the signs and magazines and stuff have different letters. And it's not like Korea or China. It's the Japan we know. But the language is different. That's a prime example of a parallel world. There's this kid, A. He's in elementary school. Well, A had this close friend named Suzuki. One day, after school, they're walking home together. A turns around to tell Suzuki a joke. And Suzuki is laughing his butt off. And he's laughing and laughing. And he laughs so hard that his eyes fall out of their sockets. What? Well, they were hanging down out of his eye sockets. The nerves were still connected, but... A is, of course, in shock and doesn't know what to do. Suzuki just takes his eyeballs and jams them back into his eye sockets and keeps walking like nothing happened. So A asks him about it. Like, hey, are you okay? Your eyes fell out. A is really concerned for his friend, you know? But Suzuki just says, yeah, I'm fine. He doesn't say anything about it. And by now, A is really curious. But he's not getting any answers. So they just part ways and go home. The story only gets weirder from here. The next day, A goes to school, and Suzuki's not there. A is confused and asks his teacher about it. Hey, where's Suzuki today? And the teacher says, Suzuki? Who's that? There's no Suzuki in this class. A says, what are you talking about? And he goes and asks all of his classmates about Suzuki. They all say the same thing. I don't know him. There's no Suzuki in this class. So that kid must have jumped into a parallel world without Suzuki. That's what I think. Couldn't Suzuki just be an imaginary friend or something? No, A was really serious about remembering Suzuki. It is weird. And there's no way you could pop your eyeballs back in like that. Well, not necessarily. There's such a thing as a dislocated eye. It actually isn't too hard to put your eye back in if it falls out. Ota is correct. Dislocated eyes are easy to replace in their sockets. 
As long as none of the nerves or blood vessels were damaged, there are usually no lasting negative effects either. That is... Oh. But that doesn't Ugh. prove that Suzuki exists. I, oh my god. Well, I guess not, but... If I saw that in real life, I don't even know how I would <laughs> deal with that. When did you two get so knowledgeable? Like, I know it's more probable for the people to have, is like, uh, like about this stuff on the bulgier eyes than That's others. why I decided to research it, too. That's how I learned And if, like, stuff. the pressure in your oh, head is, like, hey, I know a lot more than others. conspiracies and secret societies, too. I find that stuff fascinating. If you want, we could talk uh. about those. Maybe next time. Now, where's that omelet rice? Done. Okay. Bon appetit. What kind of shoes are she, is she wearing? She's just wearing like fucking Barbie shoes. Tessa, are you okay? I'm fine. My hand slipped. Let's eat. Please don't use the same spoon. Good. Ota, your omelet rice is seriously the best. Yeah, it was actually really good. Aw, oh, thanks. I owe it to my dad. He taught me well. Let's get going, Iris. Thanks again. Thank you. Come back soon. I legit don't remember what we were supposed to do. Like, I don't know why we're going to these places. <laughs> I can't remember anything. Hey, Mama, it's me. Dante, honey, what's up? I'm heading over now. Glad to hear it. Maybe I'll close the place a little early for Sorry, but I'm with someone. With someone? A girl named Iris. What? Is she a virgin? Huh? Are you even allowed to bring answer. her? Anyway, remember what we talked about? Into the bar if she's a minor? There's a regular here who was or, good no, she's rent. she's 18, right? They should so be. So I guess she's not, but coming tonight? Yes, I promise. All right. Then I'll see you there. Okay. I'll be here. How are you talking on your phone without earphones? I have an earpiece implanted in my ear. Wow, cool. Dante, it's the boss. Bad feeling about this. Okay, Dante, tell me the situation. Did you find number 89? If I did, I would have told you. Aha. Uh -huh. I see. Hmm. What was that about? That was a cry from deep within my heart, Dante. Do you realize how screwed I am? Go find number 89. If I find Renju, I find number 89. I'm gathering information on Renju's whereabouts now. Where? Oh, wait. Wait, are you trying to get her drunk? She's not 21. And if she wasn't a minor? Hmm? Well, whatever. I'm sure you have a good plan. Find those two and arrest them. Got it. 
So this is Golden Yokocho. First time here? Yeah. Marble is right over here. Date, on your six. Two suspicious individuals approaching. He really shot that bitch. Stay right there. Okay. This is all happening in like, a, Who are they? like a, a basic I like road in in town. We need a way out of this. No one's calling the police yet. Yeah, but <laughs> I guess I am the police, but. <laughs> Single revolver. I have a plan. I will give you instructions. Just move as I tell you. This better work. Not to worry. My calculations are flawless. What's the plan? You see that hanger over there? Shoot the bottom of the hanger with a normal bullet. Why? Don't ask questions, just do it. Oh shit, it's... Wait, how do I... How do I click... How do I... Wait, what? How do I... Oh, control? <laughs> okay, I was like, what button am I pressing? Look at that! Like a gift from heaven! Stupid? Just as I calculated. What kind of calculations did you do? Date, focus. Now, the burst shot. Shoot the porno mag vending machine. <laughs> the porno mag? They have they I have vending machine. machines like this? Hurry! Shoot the vending machine with the burst. Do I press control again? It's not going. Hey, this is... This is crazy! I've never seen anything like this before! Also, um, Trash Queen told me that the you are too. What? The scene that I wanted to see uh, with the Yakuza people, it's only in a route after you play this, like... Because you have to play this game multiple times to get the trigger ending, right? So you, I wouldn't even able to be able to 
get that ending if I wanted to, because you have to play it a couple times to get it. Or not Don't ending, but to get that scene. Permission. This is an emergency. I will slap you if you don't shut up. Now, we're ready. We just need to use the fire extinguisher. It's loaded with high pressure CO2. Now, I will leave your eye and throw the fire extinguisher into the air. Shoot the top of the extinguisher at the perfect time. Now let's go! Ready? Here I go! Um, what am I doing? Okay. According to my calculations. This is my place. The building's got a security system. We'll be safe here. So Mizuki's not home? Doesn't look like it. I checked your phone's GPS. Mizuki is currently at Sunfish Pocket. Damn, she's been spending her whole day there. Iris, I need to talk to you about earlier. Have a seat wherever. Iris, those guys who tried to kidnap you, do you have any idea who they were? After a long silence, Iris spoke. There is a reason I asked you to go on a date so many times. I wanted you to protect me. I wanted a bodyguard. But I thought that if I told you the truth, you wouldn't believe me. That's why I didn't tell you. But now... I'll come clean. My life is being threatened by a secret society. They're called the Nizet Laws, a group under the control of the Wajet system. Their ultimate goal is to complete X00639. I discovered them and what they were up to, and now. Date, please help me! They're going to kill me! Wait, wait! Slow down. It's spelled N-A-I-X-A-T-L-O-Z. Sometimes they just call themselves the Nice. They're deeply connected to the Wajet system. Their organization is everywhere. International politics, business leaders, all operating in secret. Ah, so Scientology. <laughs> Well, you know about the Wajet system, right? It's the core of artificial intelligence. Do you know where it came from? It was developed by the American tech conglomerate, Elgor. But no specifics have been revealed. Basically, the Wajet system artificial intelligence is from outer space. It was transmitted to Earth in binary as radio waves. They were caught by the space dev team at Elgor. And when they decoded it, they found that it was a truly incredible source code. That's the code they used to create the Wajet system. Is this true, Iva? It is patently ridiculous. 
in geosynchronous orbit around the equator, longitude 100 degrees east. There's a satellite. It's about 150 feet long. Quite big for a satellite. True. Most satellites are between 5 and 10 feet long. The International Space Station is roughly 330 feet long, so this satellite she is describing is about half as big. It's always in the same place, and there's no doubt that it's man-made. But by who? And when it was launched, no one knows. Also true. The first to discover this satellite was a space advocacy group in Japan. It was on the news for a short while. No one could identify it precisely. Most people thought it was some secret U.S. military satellite and that was it. But that's not the truth. X00639 is a super-powered radio transmitter. Radio? Transmitter? But it's not complete. It's still being built. And that's what they're trying to do. That's what Wajet wants them to do. So to summarize Iris' story, the Wajet System AI was built by decoding radio waves sent from outer space. A secret society called that knows the secret of the Wajet System and obeys its will. Their ultimate goal is to complete the radio transmitter satellite X006 and the 39. Okay. I managed to learn that too. They're building X00639 so they can transmit their own data to a planet far away. If they contact a sentient species, then the process will repeat itself again. That species will decode the signal, create an AI, then build a radio transmitter. Because they're an AI, they can create copies of themselves for transmission. Doing this over and over means that Wajet will eventually spread across the universe. And after that? I, after that? I don't think that's how yeah. it works, but sure. After they're spread all over space, what do they do next? I don't know. You don't know? Well, why do humans have children? It's the same thing. Wajet is a lie. They want to spread across the universe. That's their destiny. Well, that's a more religious thing. I don't think that's within the human nature to do, but I don't know who am I to say. <laughs> Nyes and Wajet have a mutually beneficial relationship. Wajet can control stock prices. Nyes benefits from that. In return, Nyes helps Wajet's ultimate goal. That's why Nyes is in militaries and corporations all over the world. To help build X00639. Let's say that one day Wajet shows up on your computer screen. Hi guys, nice to meet you. Want to help us out? Do you really think humans would help? Most people would probably think their PC has a virus or something. Or they'd panic and try to remove them. I don't know what would happen. I'm sure Wajet made their own predictions. And they thought it was best to control certain parts of humanity from behind the scenes. But they needed some kind of direct influence. They can't build a satellite by themselves, right? That's why they created Nizet Laws. All right, I get it. You do? Not really, but she doesn't need to know that. <sighs> but listening to your explanation, Nize doesn't sound like a bad organization. No, that's not true. Think of how much money and resources are going to Nize. Think of how many people are suffering in poverty. And all the wars happening across the planet. And human trafficking and slavery. Nice has the power and resources to put an end to all of that. But they don't. They only care about themselves. And they'll do anything to protect their own interests. They'll kill if they have to. Which is why I'm being targeted. Because I found out their secret. Well, I can't say yet. But it's true. Believe me. Nice is dangerous. 
You have to understand, Date. You... You saw my dead body. Do you think that you were killed by knives in the parallel world? Yes, I think so. You're the only person I can trust. Please, don't leave me. You have to protect me. A guy you met at, at like a total of three days ago, you trust with this information? <sighs> sure. Our story is, well, under normal circumstances, I wouldn't believe a word of it. But it, it is true that she was almost kidnapped by some mysterious groom. And it's true that I saw her dead body in the cold storage warehouse. And if that happened in a parallel world... Date, you can't tell me that you actually believe this. Iba, you use the one gen system too, right? So what if I do? Do you suspect me, Date? Do you think I'm an agent of Nye's? Fine. This can be solved easily. Why not look into her mind? Then you will discover if her story is true or not. A sink. Of course. <laughs> Iris, I hope you're okay with this. If I was in the passenger seat, I headed back to Abyss. Really, I didn't want to take her there. This boss would be waiting. The men who attacked us at Golden Yokocha were waiting for us. That means they knew we were coming. Why would that be? Someone tipped them off. Well, who could have? Someone who knew we were going to Marvel. That's right. No. Contact Pewter. I want to ask him something. Understood. Oh, Dante. Do you need something? Oh, 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 okay, I, okay. <laughs> Computer, I need to know something. Does a sync machine exist outside of Abyss? If it does, I won't have to go to Abyss. I could just go there and sync with Iris. I thought Peter might know, but... There's only one sync machine in the entire world, and it's with us in Abyss. For now, anyway. For now? The Chiba Police Department was working on a prototype, but it was stolen six years ago. Stolen? transported when it was attacked and then stolen by an armed group of men. The culprit is still on the loose. The device was never recovered either. Iba, were you aware of this? No. This is new information. I was not even aware there was a prototype. Pewter, where's boss right now? Not sure. I don't think she's at Abyss anymore. Maybe she went home? Oh my god, why the- okay. So, neither you or boss are at Abyss right now? No. Good. <laughs> I can take Iris there without a problem. Thanks, See you later. Sure thing. Dante, where no. are we going? Inside your dreams. What? I'm gonna sync with you. 
to determine if what you were telling me is true. And you didn't tell her on the way over? <laughs> You're just true. like, hey, let's go somewhere. Fulfill your wish. My wish? You don't remember? To become your bodyguard. Is that all right? Yes, of course. <sighs> Looks like we're going to be stuck with her. Just like Peter said, the boss wasn't here. Iva knew exactly how to use the er, device. I followed her directions at the control console and prepared the machine quickly. Gotcha. This time, I will be remotely operating the sim. Roger that. Are you ready? Yes. The time limit is six minutes, as always. I know. Alright. Let us begin. Let's see how much I suck at this <laughs> this time. Minecraft. <laughs> what is this place? Difficult to move like this. Why do you look like that? I went with a simpler look today. I figured this world couldn't handle my full resolution. Guess that's fine then. You can quit if you want, you know. Never! I will never give up! You don't have to take it that far. In any case, it seems that we've finally arrived. Is this world made of jelly cubes? This is Shovel Forge. Shovel Forge? I don't see any shovels or forges. Iris said that she was focused on streaming this game lately. What's that got to do with forges? Forget about the forges and listen. This Somnium is the world of Shovel Forge, a sandbox game in which you make and move cubes to create structures on a map. I'm not playing this game. On the contrary, you already are. Oh, come on. I don't want to play. Accept the reality, Date. You have no choice. Date, you'd love Minecraft. Good evening, good morning, and hello. Oh, gosh. It's she's going to be streaming. Also <laughs> known as Aset. You bet. I'm going to be playing Shovel Forge today. Let's dive right in. Iris's Let's Play has begun. Help me, Date. You have to help me. It's nice. They're coming. Find me, Date. Oh, a pickaxe. Lucky. What was that all about? It appears that this Somnium will not be easy like the other ones. I didn't think the other ones were all that easy. Are you ready? Let us begin. Okay. Somnium scan. Activate. Gotta go for the for the pickaxe first, of course. This doesn't look like a pickaxe, but that's what Iris identified it as. This is a pretty avant-garde pickaxe. Perhaps designed with glow sticks in mind. A silver gate. Let's dig it up. Like this. This is actually kind of fun. Easy there. I've still got a job to do. That pickaxe was dropped by someone being attacked by Nice. Be careful, Date. Nice might be after you, too. Did you get that? 
I'll be the one being attacked. Either way, all we have to do is listen to Iris and do what she says. But which Iris? There appears to be two. I guess both for now. I think we'll find something if we dig there. Let's check it out! It is a door, or perhaps a gate. Everything looks like a block of tofu to me. This must be <laughs> Dante's like a boomer trying to play Minecraft. All right, just don't be too hasty. A door or gate? It is closed. Okay, just like I always say, let's hit it. Go, Iba. All right, here I go. Oh, oh shit, escape. <laughs> I realized that was... I got a rare material. Ooh, I knew today would be special. This is kind of fun, isn't it, Iba? Are we meant to do this the whole time? This is tiring. The gate's open. Let's go. Roger. This is a new area. And we cannot return to the previous one. Hmm, where else can I dig? We gotta find something to dig up. Am I meant to dig everywhere? Oh god, there's a split path at the end. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> Crafting table. So the crafting table. A crafting table. You can create items here. We need the correct materials to craft something. What can we make right now? Nothing. Okay. God damn it! <laughs> Yikes. That's a big stick of imitation crab. It must be a vending machine. <laughs> Happy digging. Roger. Oh, tab. I got a lot of materials that time. Good haul today. Be sure to like and subscribe and to read to win, everyone. Hey, Iba. Yes? Is this golden Yokocho? Indeed. It appears to be modified, but it probably is based on Golden Yokocho. This is where we were attacked. Look, Dante! What is that? Uh-oh, an elite is coming. But it's okay. I've got the feeling we can do it! Project Bluebeam! Nice is trying to kill me! You have to stop Nice. But what are we supposed to do? Dance. Dance? Use the most beautiful art form humanity has ever created. The power of dance. They may have money and power, but they'll never take our beating hearts. Dance is the only way to fight the Wadjet system in Nice. Using this material, we can make a disco ball. Let's build the disco ball. And then it's dancing time! What do you think, Iba? Shovel Forge is not a dancing game, but... That's not what I'm talking about. Nice does not exist. But I don't think Iris is trying to mislead me. What you think does not change the facts. Now, we have to decide our next move. For now, we need to find somewhere to craft a disco ball. You already found it. I'm gonna have to redo this section because 40 seconds is a lot. I found a crafting table! Hmm. Something the matter? It seems you can create items. But we need to make the disco ball now. That's what the viewers are expecting. Understood. Done. That was anticlimactic. Now, give it your best dance moves, everybody. 
What should I do? Dance, Date! Fight against knives with the power of dance! I'm a dance. We have to dance. Okay, if I must. <laughs> Are they actually going to do a dancing section? Oh god, they're using her version? Stop! Stop! Is there any way to skip this? I guess not. We're... This is a lot right now. Nice for sure. I'm not afraid of them as long as you're here. Yeah, good. Huh? Well, I don't know how, but we defeated that big guy. Oh, a rare drop. Awesome. Let's see how far we a can diamond go. pick. Let's go, everyone. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I really hope I don't have to reset because I don't want to go through that again. A hot head is not what we need in this situation. This appears to be another gate, but something is blocking it. Let's see what investigating gives me. I believe I can dig it up with a pickaxe. Let's get digging. Roger. Okay, have this appears to be. Do it. Leave it to me. I dug it up. Got the material. Let's move on. This is a spacious area. Is that marble? Those flowers are winter irises. They're wilted. Whoa, this place is huge! How are we gonna check everything? Maybe I can make something with the materials I have. Okay? Okay! Another crafting table. At least you don't have to do any more digging. Date, do you see that shrine? Shrine? That's humanity's last hope against knives. Save us from the oppression of technology. Return the stone monument to the pedestal at the shrine. We should have all the materials we need to craft the stone monument. Please, Date, you're the only one who can save me. You're the only one who can save this world. Only me? Date. I'm the only one who can save her. Hey, Date. What? Is following Iris's plan really the best idea? I don't know, but I feel like we're getting closer to the truth. Really? Let's go with it a little longer. I suppose we can. I will follow along for now.
Okay, yeah. Because the split is by is the next mental lock. There's a crafting table here as Um, let's use the hat. Iris said that all the materials should be here, but What's that on the floor next to the table? This is the egg that came out of the vending machine earlier. An egg. We can use this. Okay, build the monument with that. There you have it, Iba. Understood. Done. You could have given it a little more oomph. Specifications for oomph not found. Please take the monument to the shrine. You can make miracles, Dante. Got it. Leave it to me, Iris. Are you going to continue doing whatever Iris tells you? Iba, I get where you're coming from, but I want to believe her. I see. If that is what you believe, then I will obey. I exist to support you, Date. Let's bring this to the shrine. Yeah, let's go. This appears to be a pedestal. I think I'll just place down. I think we have Understood. time to do everything else. The wilted irises blossomed. What? There were dead flowers outside. What happened to them? Oh, wow! This is... In the language of flowers, the iris means good news and hope. Okay, stop the fact that you believe in saying good that. News. And Dante, you are my hope. I'm your hope? You might be able to use it now, Dante. Use what? There's something around the flowers. Another rare drop? I suppose we dig here. Right. Where am I? The color of this floor is slightly different. All right, try digging. Understood. Jeez, <laughs> they're really making me tap. What is this? I've never seen anything like this before. Is it on the wiki? I'm gonna go check. Give me a second. What is this? Oh, I get it. It's a love bomb. Hmm? An item of that description is not in the game. Let's fight for the future with the power of love. If you use this, you might be able to find me. Use it? How? You need to dance, Date. Oh, that's right. Again? Haven't I danced enough already? This is to save Iris. Please, just bear with it for now. All right. I'll just use this bomb somewhere over there, I suppose? Yeah, try it. We cannot move forward with the debris in the way. See. Something is clearly peculiar about this debris. It's blocking the gate, but it seems to have come from nowhere. It's unnatural for sure. Does that mean Iris is blocking us on purpose? Can she do that? What if this is also part of Iris's imagination? Okay. We cannot move forward with the... Around here? Yeah. Dance, baby, dance! Do you want me to dance? Please. Please don't go through the whole song again. I swear to God, if it makes us go through the whole song again.
What? Oops, looks like I messed that up, didn't I? Okay, well, guess I'll just die and restart. This place. Okay, let's regroup and keep going. As a video game character, experiencing death again and again is wearing me down. Iris is further away from us now. So when will you stop believing her? Date, can you see that shrine? Iris, I'm sorry. Did we make a mistake? No, you hadn't. What's going on? Are we supposed to go that direction? Iris, are you there? Something big is coming. Okay, this guy's gonna be the final boss for today. Oh, stop! Stay away! Iris! Nice is coming! Dante, help me! Iris is in trouble. Is there any way to save her? Date, this is Somnium. It cannot affect the real world. That's not true. I saved Iris in Somnium once. If I don't save Iris here, Iris in the real world is in danger. Either way, we do not have the power to fight against the UFO. If you want to help Iris, we need to find a way. What can we do? Where do we go? Uh. It's a pyramid. Hmm. We no longer have a pickaxe. Oh, true. Time's wasted, that, huh? A mirror door, but I'm not reflected in it. Damn it. <sighs> All right, let's just see where this goes. What? The power of dance. Hey, Nub. The most beautiful thing humanity has Yeah, uh, my friend recommended me this game. Dance it's the only way to beat Nyes and the Wadjet system. I'm pretty interested in the, the, in the story, but unfortunately, I'm not nice. sure if it's a good <laughs> streaming game, but... They're trying to erase you and... Date. I do like do the, the Somnium levels. Understood. I'll do it. God, okay. I wish dancing got rid of all my problems in real life. <laughs>
for finding me, Dante. Iris. Is it really you, Iris? First game ever, 100%. Yeah, I heard um, you have to go through all the endings in order to get the true ending. Which I'm not sure if I will do. We'll Leave see. Oh, uh, hold on. That's a little... There's like a split path here, so... Is there something else I could do? Oh, I'm gonna look around. Nothing is showing on the monitor. Locked, but it must be the outermost gate. Um, I guess we can investigate this, see what time thing Without we get. A pickaxe, there is no need. I mean, not that will really believe me. I don't really want to believe you, Iris. <laughs> There is a split here, though. I, I'm so intrigued. Nothing is showing. Oh, that takes so much time, though. Whatever, I'll just do it. <laughs> Please. Please trust me. Iba, touch the core. Date. <laughs> this is so menacing. How would you not believe her? Would you just run out of time? Or is that an option that's locked for other playthroughs? Secret really touched my heart in a way that will always linger. All that was removed from my mind. I was determined. Iris, I'm sorry that I doubted you. Hmm? I believe you. Wajit Nyes X00639. Are you serious? And like I said, I'll fulfill your wish. From this moment on, you're under my protection. Then. Yeah, I'm your bodyguard. <laughs> But the, her Sami, how does that like, how does that make you believe her? Like, what does that prove? You just played a level of like Minecraft. You're going to help too, right, Iva? My mission is to support you. Good. Then thank you.
What? You stayed at a hotel with Tessa? It was a business hotel. It was a two-bedroom. <gasps> Don't say misleading things. We got two rooms, each with two beds. We did bathe together, though. That makes sense why Dante no, we her. didn't. It's okay. What? Isn't your gang supposed to be clean? Yeah, my friend says Iris, the way she acts will be explained, and I guess this is part of it, so. I see. I heard about the shooting in Golden Yokocho last night, but I never thought it'd be you. Um, okay. Sorry, never heard of them. Are they even real? Yeah, I mean, uh, of course. <laughs> I've always known, deep down, there must be some kind of secret organization. Always known it. Anyway, I, I got some info about the shootout. Those guys aren't affiliated with any criminal organization we're aware of. They're not Mafia, or Yakuza, or anything. They must have been hired guns. Uh, by... Niza... Mattis. It's nice at laws! Unfortunately, I don't have anything new for you. But, uh, I did find out a little nugget of info you might want to hear. What is it? I'll tell you, but, uh... Date, come over here. Again with this? It's arm over my shoulder, and Mama led me to the corner of the room. I'll tell you, Date, but you gotta do something for me. You wanna shake your hand again? No, 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 I, I did that already. I want to see oh my God. her panties. I'm sorry? I want to see Tessa's panties. I really, really. Dude, really she's really like 17. This is. Gotta let me get up okay, this is the thing that I hate about this game. You. It's like. Can you at least. They could have at least made her an adult and made these jokes, but her being, not being an adult makes us so uncomfortable. Mom and I went back to where we were. Iris, could you do me a favor? Uh, Dante, I wouldn't ask I that. Okay. <laughs> she hit me hard. Yeah, she should. That's messed up, Dante. I know Momo would never say that. Right, Momo? Yeah, 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 of course. Dante, you evil pervert. Seriously? You just want a handshake, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. I, I tried to tell him. I just took Momo's hand and shook it. Dante, this, this is the happiest day of my life. I thought that was yesterday. Anyway, what's this intel you got? Check it out. Friday night near Bloom Park, someone saw Renju. Friday night? That's when Shoko was killed. Obviously, that's not enough to pin the crime on him, but it does prove he was there. I guess we should check the merry-go-round again. The police have already thoroughly searched it. And we've been there more than once before on our investigation. But we might have missed something, right? When you oh my told God, me you were coming, so I made them leave. In my house, like my fingers are like <laughs> locking up. Ugh. Yeah, do you wanna leave well, this really? place? I'm I'm worried for your worrying. It's fine, she knows already. I told her I'm with you. I'm sure she's not worried.
Maybe Mr. Okiro was a part of Nice. What? Oh, sorry. I was just thinking out loud. What makes you think that? When we were at Sunfish Pocket, my friend said... He was looking okay, I was like, what did she say? <laughs> and then later, I almost got kidnapped by Nice. Was that just a coincidence? And not just that. When you found my corpse in the parallel world, you found it in an Okiara warehouse. Whoever killed me in that world was probably affiliated with Nice. That makes me think the Okiaras and Nice are connected. Maybe Nice ordered Mr. Okiara to help number 89 escape. And number 89 is an assassin. If he wanted to get rid of me, Mr. Okiara must have... If that's true, it could be related to Shoko's murder. Shoko must have found out about the organization. He killed her for getting too close, then displayed the body as a warning. It all comes back to knives. Once we solve the mystery of knives, everything will fall into place. Or so I hope. If you want to know more about knives, why not ask Ota? Remember what he said yesterday? I know about conspiracies and secret societies too. I find that stuff fascinating. I love how they give a flashback to s <laughs> like for one line. <laughs> have more information for us. One line of dialogue. There are three places we need, or we can go. First, Bloom Park. I'm curious about Renju being seen there Friday. Second, Masashita Diner. I want to ask Oda more about knives. Third is the Seijima Estate. Seijima is probably the one responsible for Iris' murder in the parallel world. In which case, he might be part of knives. I need to confront him. Let's go, Iris. You're taking Tessa with you? She'll be safer here. I can't do that. I made her a promise. I will be Iris's garter belt. What? What? Uh, sorry. I meant bodyguard. A Freudian slip, no doubt. Well, whatever. But if you're gonna leave, you should take this with you. A gun? I'm gonna open his desk into a small object. What's this? Oh, it's a not GPS a transmitter. Moma, Iris's phone already has GPS. I know, but in case she gets caught and they throw away her phone or something, it's just an extra precaution. Put it somewhere they won't find it. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> I'm already kind of making mistakes in Somnium, so uh, probably will take longer for me. I hope it'll be useful. Date. Yeah, I might play this off stream I'll make sure because um, the rest of as much as I enjoy this game, a lot of this game is me kind of sitting here. So while other people would enjoy this, I feel like um, my usual viewers probably wouldn't find this to be super interesting. Because I, I as much as I like this game, it, it the viewership isn't as good, but I will definitely play it um, on the side. Uh, but for now, I'll just go with this. Um, I... let's go... I guess it doesn't really matter right now. I'll just go to Bloom Park first. But yeah, my friend said that you need to get all the endings to get the ending. Like, the true ending. So, it's definitely something that I'm going to do. Just most likely on the side. Um, I took Iris to Bloom Park. Took my time checking every inch of the merry-go-round. But yeah, it, it, me all, me also playing it on the side would make it go by There's quicker because at the very least, wh when I'm playing by myself, I don't have to um, let the uh, dialogue run. <laughs> I feel like that's also a reason why it's taking a bit longer, but... Um, she, that was, I wasn't okay. I want to believe him, but I don't know how long I can keep defending him. Where is he? What is he doing? I thought it over a thousand times. My head is heavy with it. 
I was suddenly sucked to me out of it. Want a race, Date? Race? Yeah, we talked about it yesterday. You want to challenge me? Well, sure. Yeah, let's do it. We'll start here and end here. So we race around the merry-go-round. Right. Line up next to me. Before I'd even had a chance to reply, Iris got set. I guess I had no choice. I'll end up next to Iris. Okay, here we go. Ready? Set? Go! Couldn't believe my eyes. I thought I must be dreaming. A second after the race had started, I was already two paces behind her. Couldn't close the gap. Watch her back get smaller and smaller. You know, at the very least, if she's getting chased by creeps, she can just outrun them. <laughs> See? Told you. Iris is the messenger of the gods. You've earned your namesake. <laughs> Do you know a lot about mythology? Huh? You said that Iris is a goddess in Greek mythology. And three days ago, you were talking about Egyptian mythology. Horus is the Egyptian god of the sky and sun. The right eye is the eye of Ra, and that's the sun. The left eye is the eye of Wajet, and that one is the moon. That's what Iris told me three days ago. Horus' left eye is the eye of Wajet. Does that have any relation with the Wajet system? Oh, mythology? I actually don't know that much. Uncle taught me everything. Six years ago, I used to come here with someone. All, <laughs> all right, I, I understand I why they home. give flashbacks if like people like take long breaks in between, but oh, <laughs> it is a little oh, ridiculous oh, after after how many flashbacks right. they've shown me in a small that name is set of time. Egyptian mythology too. Horus's arch enemy was Set, his uncle. His uncle. Osiris's little brother is Set, and his son is Horus. This Set was an awful guy. One day he tricked and killed Osiris by trapping him in a coffin. So naturally, Horus didn't take that well. Drat! I'll never forgive you, Uncle Set. On the other hand, Set didn't like having Horus around. Oh, he's so annoying. Osiris said that I was supposed to be king. But now everyone's like, Oh, Horus should be king. Are these idiots serious? Horus would be an awful king. Time to go to war! And so, a bloody war broke out. Just like that. And the winner was decided by a deadly game. What kind of game? They would disguise themselves as hippos, ford the river, and whoever gets to the other side first would win. That's what they decided. How oddly specific. So... For 80 years, they fought. It was bloody and horrible. In the end, Horus won. Horus used a spear to cut off Set's foot and Wee Wee. <laughs> I believe she is referring to a male. Wait, why are you asking me? But Horus didn't come out of this unscathed. During the battle, Horus lost his left eyeball to Set. It said he that cut the off his wiener dog. All over Egypt, gaining wisdom and experience. Horus had no idea that his left eye was wandering around on its own. What? Where did my eye go? Horus was totally bummed out. He went to see the god of wisdom, the moon, and time, Thoth. Damn, Set did that? That's brutal, dude. All right, I'll use my moon power to heal you up. Yay, thank you, Mr. Thoth. Okay, here it goes. Moon healing power. Ring, ring, ring. Thoth cast his spell and Horus's eye came zooming in. Zoom, click. Horus got his eye back. And from that day forward, his left eye had the power of the moon in it. 
It became the symbol of knowledge and healing, and revered as a sacred icon. So that's the Eye of Wadja? Right. And it became the Eye of Providence? Yes. Do you think that's why we call it the Wadja system? Probably, yeah. I told you yesterday, I love moving around. And I especially love dancing. But... Hmm? About three months ago, Mr. Okira told me something. He said that I can't dance. Why? I don't know. He said something about being over-reliant on dancing and neglecting my singing. I mean, I... Stop dancing for now and practice singing. <laughs> Girl, your singing's pretty rough, I must admit. She was dancing. Because I was sad. After I stopped dancing, I lost so many fans. They said terrible things to me, like that I'm worthless if I can't dance. All I have is dancing. Just dancing. Horace's mom is named Isis, but in ancient Egyptian, it's pronounced closer to Isa or Asa. Hmm. How do I explain this? I told you about Horus's dad Osiris. His mom's name is Isis. So Osiris is Isis's husband. Osiris was assassinated by his brother Set. That's what I told you earlier. But there's more to it. After Set killed Osiris, he tore his body to pieces and threw it in the river. Isis was devastated. I can't believe I'm a widow at my age. But she didn't let it break her. Because she had the power of life and death. All right, fine. If that's how it's gonna be, I'll just revive my husband. With a group of her friends, she gathered up Osiris's body and started the resurrection ritual. Live! Shh, her! And so, Osiris was revived! Well, technically he wasn't all there, so he wasn't in one piece. But anyway, Isis was the goddess of life, death, and fertility. She was worshipped by all the land. I think I get the picture. But what is that? <laughs> After that giant lord dump? Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Iris is really based on the Egyptian goddess Isis. So Isis and Iris are connected. Yeah. And Isis sounded like Aesed in ancient Egyptian, which is where your stage name comes from. That's right. But remember, I didn't come up with the name. Her uncle. In the end, we didn't find any new information on Renju. But I'm not too upset. It's what a criminal... A crim <laughs> what? A criminal investigation code. You don't always find what you're looking for. Let's get going. I mix criminal with chemical yeah, somehow. Hotel and Mizuki were both at the time. Why is it lost? Uh, okay. It's, it's not impossible. Let us look softly to himself, looking deep in thought. <laughs> I love how <laughs> that's I always ask where his mom is. <laughs> it's like, um, that one video where it's like, wouldn't you like to know whether boy? And the guy's like, where are your parents? <laughs> I've heard of them. Nizitlas, or Nize, is a satanic secret society, like a cult. They sacrifice children. While the sacrifice is up all night screaming, the cult performs ritual acts. Their ranks are full of politicians, intellectuals, and business tycoons. They've only been active for a few decades, but some say that they've grown to be the largest secret society in the world. An organization so big that it absorbed the Freemasons and the Illuminati. <laughs> a 
But even though their membership is huge, no one knows who their leaders are. Like, you've heard of the Rockefellers and the Rothschilds, right? But for Nice, there's nothing. No one knows who's so running the cult. My guess is that they're being led by a group of super geniuses. Ota doesn't know about the Watchet system or its connections to Nice. Iris found out, which is why they're after her. Pieces of it. If you believe everything she said. Cassius, my hopes and dreams, my peace and my life, my light, my star, my sun, my goddess. She's like the laws of the universe itself, the embodiment of beauty. <laughs> An angel, a lover, a cute mascot to put on a body pillow, a guru, a wife, a soulmate, life itself. She's the object of my total devotion and worship. Snuck lover and wife in there. I would adore it. And like I told you before, I'm Tessa's thrall. If she calls for me, I'll be there. Thanks, Ota. That makes me happy. <laughs> Thanks. An avocado. Thanks. Well, Ota. Um. Date. Can I... Ota gestured and walked over to the corner of the room. I quietly stood up and followed. Look, I was gonna let you have it, but under the circumstances... Date, can I... What are you talking about? But... Mizuki, of course. You've been neglecting her. Don't you think she's at her limit? Mizuki stayed at one of the mermaids' houses last night. She was twisting and turning all night. We had to sleep in the same bed so she'd calm down. She called me this morning so I could pick her up. Normally, she'd be in school, but Mizuki had the day off for morning. I thought that she shouldn't be alone. Why don't you try being nicer to Mizuki? I know she doesn't show it, but she's really hurting. <laughs> Okay, I, you, I know, but I'm she also working on, like, a murder situation. She's a remarkable, brave young girl. You should try to understand how she feels. Who is Iris to you? A friend? A big sister? And I kind of envy her. No, stop it! It's true, though. I look up to you a lot, Iris. <laughs> I mean, I don't think she's gonna... Yeah, I don't think she would know where her father is, right, so I'm just not even gonna ask going. it. You got it. Date, if something happens to Tessa, let me know, okay? I'll come help right away. Me too! I'll save you no matter what, Iris. Thank you both. Promise me. I promise. Bye. <laughs> And now we're back with this fucker. There's no one in the garden. So must be inside. Wait, I have detected a living organism in the garden. You should look around. Um, okay. It's a plant, <laughs> okay. Satomi doing with so? 
Date? What's wrong? Iris hasn't noticed them yet. I decided to ask her about them. You said you don't know Sosajima, right? Right, I don't. What about your mom? Does she know so? I don't know. I don't think she does. Do you ever talk politics at home? Anything like that? Not particularly. Why are you asking me this? Yeah, because look, bitch. Are you blind? It was at that moment. Two bodyguards dressed in black come running out of the mansion. That panic looks on their faces. We told you, you can't come in here. You can't do what you want just because you're a cop. You're trespassing. That's a crime, you know. Get lost. Where are you pushing it? They call HQ, we would get arrested for sure. And what would happen to Iris? Who would protect her? Mines is a huge organization. They have people everywhere. I can't risk being caught. Then I wouldn't be able to save Iris. Fine. Let's go, Iris. Yeah. Where are we going next? Marble and Golden Yokocha. Wasn't that where we were attacked by Nice? It'll be fine. I didn't tell anyone we were going there. They won't be waiting for us. Besides, <laughs> Dante, you say this every time, twice. and it's never fine. <laughs> Something in Ron always happens. No reason. I just need to talk to Mama. Hmm? Okay. I keep forgetting to click on that screen. Sorry I couldn't come last night. No, no. Don't worry about it. It was better that you didn't. Huh? You didn't hear? There was a shootout right in front of the bar. They closed all of Golden Yokocho down. They were saying something about hitmen suddenly pulling out guns and shooting. They were trying to kill a man and a woman. She's not gonna question. Yeah, Dante like said that there's like a bunch of buff guys outside of her bar. Yeah, let me uh, introduce Iris first. Sorry for the late introduction. This is Iris. Nice to meet you. I'm Aset. You bet. Oh, sorry. Have it. I meant Iris. Oh my, you are so cute. Are you a virgin? You are, right? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh my god, I hate what these jokes so much. Me too. Oh, you don't say. I think they must be foreign mafia. Some kind of international organization. They would do anything for money. Nice must have hired them. Sorry, honey, but I don't know a thing about that. But you're an informant. I'm sure you must know something. I'm well versed in local information. I know all about Tokyo's underworld, but I can't say much about the rest of the world. Mama, I want to ask you something. What is it? Those gunmen were waiting for us. Did you tell anyone we were coming? That's right. You did tell Mama that you were coming. And that you were bringing Iris. Hmm. Well, I did tell one person. Who? The person I was going to have you meet, of course. Same guy who gave Ren his watch. What's his name? Futa, I think. Futa Amanoma. <gasps> what? Oh. Okay. Hmm. 
Oh, guess we're leaving. There's no one here. Maybe he went home. No, that can't be. Pewter is definitely around here somewhere. Date, your intuition is correct. I am detecting a living organism nearby. I knew it. Okay. He's really hiding in the locker. <laughs> okay. There's that bastard. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, okay, I'll tell you everything. You told those men that Iris and I were going to Golden Yoga Show, didn't you? Yes, I did. Renju hired them. Renju did? Which means Mr. Okiura is in with Nyes. Nyes? Don't play dumb. I know you're with them. I don't know what you're talking about. I was just helping Renju. Did you help number 89 get away? How much does she know? Just answer the question. Yes, I did. It's been bothering me. How was number 89 able to escape from Metro so easily? Yeah, I've been asking the same hostage. thing this whole time. If you were helping him the whole time, it all makes sense. Oh, okay. Two days ago, Renju escaped from the hospital. Renju asked me on the phone to report everything about Shoko's murder case. That's what he wanted. Hmm. Yesterday, the boss told me that number 89 was coming. Then, Renju asked, Is there any way we can let number 89 escape? I was conflicted. I thought hard about it, but it was Renju asking. Someone I love. And he sounded like he was on death's doorstep. He was begging for help. I couldn't say no. With my intelligence, I was quickly able to come up with a plan. You know what the results were. Nope. The escape happened exactly how I described earlier. Though, I wasn't being threatened with a gun. You were acting, huh? Just pretending to be his hostage. Yes. Did number 89 know about the plan? Of course. We discussed it when we were alone in the interrogation room. Naturally, he agreed. I imagine he would have taken any possibility of escape. Even if we failed, he was already serving a life sentence. I may not look it, but I have connections high up at HQ. Friends from my college days. I asked one of them to call up the boss. I don't know. It's true. Please, believe me. Renju said that he needed him. That's all I know. Is it true that you were the one who gave Renju his watch? Yes, that's true. There's no need to ask him anything else. Why did Peter help her, Renju? His last answer was all I needed to hear. I see. So where is Renju? Even if I knew, why would I tell you? Because you don't want more holes in your body than you already have. You can't. Why not? Date, I didn't tell you all this because you were threatening me. I genuinely wanted you to know. To understand. The truth, Date. 
What are you talking about? There's a variable you haven't considered. I made Isla. And? You don't get it? Date, his hands! Give the gun to Iris so she can shoot the guy. Dante. <sighs> now, come with me. Damn it, Pewter. Dante, calm down or it will compromise your ability to drive. If you crash, you will not be able to save Iris. Where is she? I don't know. So then where the hell am I going? How would I know that? You acted on your own. What about her phone's GPS? I tried. It's been turned off. Then... Can I try the Yakuza it's dudes? Yeah. <laughs> extra precaution. Put it somewhere they won't find it. Iba, call Moma now. On it. Hey, Dante, what's up? Explain the situation as best as I could. I know, I know. Yell at me later. Right now, I need you to tell me where she is. God damn it! The short pause, Moma yelled at me. Or yelled out. What? Sorry, my brain is not working right now. That's where the cold storage warehouse is. That's where I saw Iris' dead body. Got it, thanks. I'm on my way there too. Stealth mission? <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> Why is it? Oh, okay. Something. <laughs> Those are the guys who attacked us at Golden Yoga Joe. The mercenaries. How many? I detect more than we can see. They are positioned all over the area, surrounding the warehouse. Each of them carries an assault rifle. Getting through will not be an easy task. <sighs> Looks that way. Barricades set up in two areas in front of the warehouse. Portable? They can be moved and erected easily. Is there anything else? I don't think I need to look at them again. She okay? Unknown, but at least we know she's alive. 
The issue now is reaching her. All right, let's do this. <laughs> Hold on. Are you dense? They're gonna blow your brains out. They got guns? Yeah, and not just one or two. They all have assault rifles, and they're everywhere. You can tell? Even in the dark? Have you forgotten that I found out what was inside your safe? <sighs> I have superpowers. I can see in the dark, and I have x-ray vision. Oh, shit, you were serious? I nodded and then told him about the rest. That Iris was in the van at the end of the harbor. And that there are two portable barricades on the way there. After I laid it out, I stared into his eyes. We need a plan. Can you help me? Yeah, sure I can. But I need to ask you a few things first. Okay. The jackoff who took Tessa. Pewter, right? What's his deal? I think Renju asked him to do all of this. Renju? Told Mom about Renju and Peter's relationship. Oh, that's right. Renju was looking for Tessa. Not only that, in a parallel world, I found Iris's body at an Okiura fishery warehouse. I've got a bad feeling about this. So these bad guys, why did they take Tessa? The van's at the end of the row. Okiura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse is right there. They must be planning on taking her inside. Right now, they're probably getting it ready. They've got lookouts waiting outside. Tessa's in the van down there, right? Yeah. In that case, why don't we go around the back? Unfortunately, that is impossible. The warehouses are flush with the water. The only path to the van is down the front. Relay that information to MoMA. Shit. Guess it won't be that easy. MoMA has a hunting rifle. MoMA, that's not a toy, is it? No fucking way. This is the real deal, baby. And do you have a permit for that? I am a cop, you know. Oh, come on. Don't throw the book at me now, Dante. Okay. That appears to be a military-grade all-terrain vehicle. MoMA, that vehicle, that's one of ours. I got it from the army. It's bulletproof, even the windows. I thought you were trying to run a non-violent gang. Well, that's exactly why. We got rid of our offense, so we needed a little defense. I suppose that makes sense, in a way. What's the plan? Uh, well... <laughs> we drive through. <laughs> well, let's come up with a plan of car emerge from the darkness. He's so tiny <laughs> compared to Dante. Kazuki, Ota. What are you doing here? What do you mean? You contacted us. What? I sent an aisle message to both of them. Why? Date, if something happens to Tessa, let me know, okay? I'll save you no matter what, Iris. <laughs> so you enlisted children? Or I guess he's an adult, but she's like 12. Promise is an inviolable protocol. It must be followed. Do you know what a white lie is? No, I am an AI. You always pull out that excuse when it's convenient. Besides, Mizuki can be very helpful. And Ota? Perhaps he can be used as a shield. True. Now that's cruel, even for me. Dante, oh. who are the kids? Don't call me a kid. Who's the old man? 
Excited and shook my head. I made the introductions quickly. So your sixth grade roommate and a knee who's trying to get his light novel published? What good are they? You don't look very youthful yourself, old man. Yeah, you're all short and scrawny. Shut up, I'm not short. The earth is just big. That argument is fallacious. And you're short too. No way. This isn't even my final form. All my joints are folded up. I can get three times bigger than this. Liar! This went on for a bit. I finally got fed up and shouted at them. Listen up, you idiots. You're here because you're all ASET fans. Water. Wet. Sweat. ASET. Fears. Upset. Regret. ASET. Gambling. R roulette. Bed. ASET. Hey! Yes, yeah! yes, yes. <laughs> How have the people not heard them? <laughs> right, let's work together and get our Tessa back. Yeah. yeah. This is our time to unite. Let's show them what we're made of. Yeah. yeah. Shoulder to shoulder, heart to heart, we stand. Show no mercy, for you shall receive none. Yeah. yeah. It seems they've already become good friends. Iris has extraordinary power. Good. It's working. Explain the situation to Mizuki and Ota. Here's the plan. Ota, can you drive that vehicle? It's bulletproof, so don't worry. They can't shoot you. Yes, sir! Moma, I need your trigger finger. Get on the back with me and shoot any gunman you can see. You got it! And Mizuki, you're our secret weapon. If it all goes south, we're gonna need your powers. Leave it to me. Hey, Dante! What are you gonna have her do? She might not look it. She's something else. <laughs> yeah, she can lift. <laughs> you sure about this? Yup. You should worry more about yourself, Moma. So, now you know your jobs. This is how we get through. I'm sure I don't need to tell you, but our objective is to reach the end of the harbor. We need to rescue Iris from that van and then get the hell out of here. Any questions? All right, let's do this. Yeah, let's lock and load. We're coming for you, Tessa. On three. One, two, three, go! go! And so Operation Iris Rescue began. Do this. Kill him! <laughs> Kill him! Damn, there's too many of them. I don't think my rifle can handle this many. <sighs> I have to think of something. I have a plan. Is it a good plan? Just listen. You still have that pornographic magazine, right? I do? <laughs> Don't act innocent. Last night, you went back to Golden Yokocho. You found one of those magazines and hid it in your clothes. How did you know? I'm your left eye, Date. Of course I would know. In any case, throw it at the drum. No. 
<laughs> this is a collector's item. It's SSR. I can't just throw it away. So what is more important to you, Iris or Eros? Eros. Hmm? <sighs> Iris. Good. Hurry, they're closing in. Oh, oh wait, can't, can't we... Oh shit, I have to... Uh, X, what? Oh shit! <laughs> Sorry, I was like, X and what? Whoopsies. I... <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's I was I had my like hands together because I was cold. Take this. What could it be? The legendary Oh, this is amazing! No one back home will believe me! Date, now! Shoot the drum! <laughs> <laughs> Now's no time for crying! The drum contains flammable liquids! Do you understand? Fine, I got it. Oh, I was like, did it not work? <laughs> more of them and no more oil drums to blow up i'm at my limit here wait Iba, any ideas hmm. let me see So they have more magazines. Date, last night, you picked up something else, didn't you? I told you, don't act innocent. I'm talking about the panties and bra you shot down in Golden Yokocho. I needed it as evidence. Enough with your pathetic excuses. Just aim under the container. Damn it, Date! I was gonna give this to Reika as a gift. The only funny thing Someone about this underwear? joke is the voice Why acting. Like, if it, if it weren't for the voice acting, it's I it really face. wouldn't be that funny. Like, that at all. Not true. Date, what are you doing? Iris is in trouble! Okay, okay. I just gotta throw it, right? So I don't mess this one up. <gasps> Goodbye. What the hell? 
This must be a gift from heaven. So wet, as wet as it gets. <laughs> so dirty. Shameless. Absolutely shameless. Good. That went well. Now, if we can cause that container above them to fall. Damn, we're really just gonna absolutely. I, I mean, I guess we blew up the other people up, but something about <laughs> Squishing him to death with this is a little. Let's go. Oh, shit, move. Oh, okay, okay, I guess they're not dying. Let's go. Roger. The last one. Once we get through here, then. What's the plan? Fine then. My turn. Wait! Mizuki! Oh, that idiot! <laughs> Their aim just is horrible. Dante, Mizuki can't do this alone! Loma, cover me. Hey, wait up! Oh shit. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was a really long time to spend on his face. Thank you. My goddess, your chariot has arrived. Please don't say that, Dante. <laughs> Dante! Ota, mission complete. All right, got it! After that, we split up and booked it. Momo got behind the wheel of his vehicle, Oda took the van, and I got in my own car. Mizuki went with Ota, and Iris came with me. We drove off as fast as we could in different directions. Rain poured down endlessly. The neon lights of the city blurred faintly through the fine drops of rain. Dante. 
Mate. Moma and Mizuki contacted us. They're all safe. Good. Without a long sigh of relief. Yeah, I'm a lot better actually. I'm sorry, by the way, for everything. During our escape, Iris got motion sickness. I decided to pull over at Ipume Shrine so she could rest. Oh, and thank you. I never thanked you for saving me. You should be thanking those three. Some bodyguard I am. I put you in danger. That's not true. If it wasn't for you, I would have... Anyway, there's nothing else to say but thank you. I was not... Pressing on the shrine. Nothing in particular. I didn't talk to them at all in the clock. What about the group of gangsters? They were all speaking different languages, so I didn't understand anything. Do you think the fruit of immortality really exists? Legend about the shrine? Yeah. I told you yesterday, I don't believe in that stuff. I see. But you do believe in parallel worlds and secret societies. Because I experienced that in Iris' Sunny. This could be a negative side effect of the sin. It is possible that you've been emotionally compromised by Iris' morbid inner consciousness. Emotionally? Well, there is no point in discussing this now. Looking at the iris again? Oh, yeah. I can't see it well in the rain. You must really like that flower. Of course, we share the same name. Iris, the rainbow goddess. Yeah, that's what uncle taught me. The uncle? Perhaps it is not the flower itself that Iris likes. I used to love Uncle. Not like romantically. Yeah, I hope not. I was twelve at the time, and Uncle was already in a relationship. Yeah, with your mom. You with your mom. Oh, you knew about that? I've heard a lot. Like the Okonomiyaki incident. Yeah, the picture I drew. Right. We were always like that. We always acted silly and played around and stuff. I remember that in sixth grade, Uncle and I used to play hand games. Like ratty cakes. Hmm? It's like patty cakes mixed with rock, paper, scissors. Oh, so that's why it's okay. Ratty cake, ratty cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Pat it, poke it, fill it with fruit. Put it in the oven. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! When I first saw that, I thought I was literally getting, win, like, gaslit into <laughs> thinking that it was ratty cake the whole time. <laughs> I was like, I'm pretty sure it's patty cake. <laughs> I don't know. I only called him uncle. Mama called him Falco. Falco? <laughs> Isn't it a funny name? Sort of weird for a Japanese man. Oh, maybe he wasn't Japanese. I never found out where he was from. Before he met me, he committed some terrible crime. It appears that Hitomi and the assassin number 89 were dating. What? Now you have to take the penalty! Oh, got that laugh. And number 89 is with Renju now. What the hell is going on here? I didn't keep my promise. Promise? Did you forget? 
I told you that I would tell you who my late night visitor was if you went on a date with me. Oh, right. And we went on a date, so guess I'll tell you now. Sunday at 2 a.m., I was visited by... Renji Ophira. What? He seemed really sick. Probably because of his injury. At the time, I had no idea what had happened to him. He was sweating buckets, and he came up to me with this begging look in his eyes. He said, come with me. He seemed really desperate. I couldn't say no. So I got into his rental car. We went somewhere, I don't know where, some deserted building. Mr. Okira got out of the car, then grabbed my hand. He tried to pull me inside. I got scared. I pulled my hand away and ran. Well, I didn't go home. I thought he might come back. I just walked around and went into a bunch of stores. Restaurants, coffee shops, net cafes. I was afraid that he would try to call me, so I turned off my phone, too. And then, at night, around 7, I think, I turned on my phone and got a Nile message from Mizuki. I want to stay at your place. I met up with her and took her home. I thought having her around would comfort me. I don't know. I don't know. I haven't seen him or spoken to him since. Mr. Okira has done so much for me. He took care of me as a kid. He helped me at Lemniscate. I wanted to trust him. No matter what happens, I can't think of him as a bad person. I mean, he never did anything bad to me. He came to my house oh, Dimitri, to always a psychopath in every game you're in. You never know. Maybe he wanted to show me some flowers, or something that he found. Or it was like a prank he was filming for the internet, or something. And that's what I thought at the time. That's what I kept telling myself. But after hearing everything you've told me, I can't see Mr. Okira the same way. Maybe he's a part of Nice. Maybe he's trying to... Iris, I need you to tell me one thing. Where did Renju take you? Where did he take you exactly? It's been closed for eight years. The chemical plant in the Kawasaki district. Okay, um... I guess we can do this one final thing and probably end after this. Hopefully it won't take too long, but... Is this the place? Yes. Where did Renju try to take you? That door in the back. This is... A sink machine. Though it appears to be slightly different than the one in Abyss. Could this be the prototype Pewter was talking about? The Chiba Police Department was working on a prototype, but it was stolen six years ago. But what is it doing here? Hey, Iris, okay. are you okay? Iris, stay with me! Date, Iris's vital signs are going critical. What? Why? Unknown. But I believe the issue is with her brain. Her brain? 
part of her brain is experiencing massive failure. If this continues... Let's get her to a hospital. Impossible. Oh wait, am I gonna have to go through another time. sink? A somnium <laughs> level? Last only 10 to 15 more minutes before the damage is irreparable. How do you know that? I have scanned and analyzed her thoroughly. Her symptoms indicate that she will die within minutes. What? Sink. What? I'll use the sink machine here to go inside her brain. That will not cure her condition. I'm not trying to cure her. Two days ago, I saw her dead body. After that, we went into Sosajima's brain. And in his somnium, I saved Iris. And somehow, I saved Iris in the real world, too. Maybe we're in a parallel world or something. If I do the same thing again... You think you can save her? Yes. Iva, please, help me. Is that an order? Yes. Then I suppose I have no choice. <laughs> I just... My do I have to? Same girl, though. I do not like Iris. I still don't like her. Date, this device is a prototype. It is not identical to the one at Abyss. You said that already, so what? I do not know how to reset it. There must be a manual of some kind. We need to find that before we begin. I, uh... I just saw the manual. <laughs> I don't believe it. Why is it raining inside? Unless the, it's just the roof leaking. Are you ready? Yeah, let's go. Okay, well, I guess we're going through one final zombie for today. Shovel Forge again? This looks kind of like the other time I synced with Iris, but there's a different atmosphere now. Hmm. By the way, what happened to your usual appearance? I decided to hold back this time. This is no time to be playing around. Putting that aside, you want to help Iris, correct? Then we need to hurry. So what do we need to do? Care to ask the owner of this world? She's lost consciousness. Even in her own somnium. That proves how critical her condition is. Whoa! What was that? I do not know, but it appears as though we have no choice but to believe those words. Fruit of immortality, huh? But I don't see any fruit. We need to do something about this beam of light first. I've seen that monument before. 
But back then... Somnium scan! Activate! Um... Can we put the egg on on it? An egg-shaped monument. It looks more like a sugar cube to me. Like place on like the pedestal over there. I hope that's what it's letting me do. here cuts off the light i feel like i've seen this in a movie don't you mean you've seen this in iris's somnium just put it down huh? i didn't expect that no this is i see did you figure something out This might turn into a pentagram. Oh, I get it. That means... Yes, that leaves this remaining. Let me look at the map. Okay. It's not like tell me what to do. Uh let me see what the door does. This is called a Tory. Um, sure, we can investigate it. See if we get any time frame I for feel it. As though we shouldn't. We can't leave Iris behind. Okay, another twenty-second one. I, hmm. Iris is on. A pedestal. Is that what it is? Hmm. Fixtures like these at a shrine are typically used as lanterns. I see. So what can we use it for? A monument is placed on that pedestal, but we don't have a place to put this one. I therefore conclude that this pedestal is meaningless. We wasted our time. Oh, do I just literally go... A Chozuya. It's all like 20 seconds, but I guess I can shorten this by 10 seconds. Let me see. Hmm, there's something here. A monument. 
element. If you place it against the light, it will do it. What? They have appeared before. It may symbolize Iris's insecurities. Whoa! We have to deal with them before we find the fruit of immortality. What do you want me to do? They don't want us to complete the pentagram. Is that why they attacked the Chozuya and Iris's? But this pedestal has not been attacked. They cannot attack it for some reason. You think so? What other explanation could there be? As long as there is even a slight possibility, we must try. You're right. Thinking about what worked previously, we need to make a pentagram. But the attack has scrambled everything. We do not have time for trial and error. Think carefully. short intent or something. It'll only save like five seconds though. I'll just... like These little else? beams are really loud. Trying to lighten the mood. I appreciate the thought, but. Oh. Okay. A pedestal with a monument on top of it. Oh, shoot. What am I even supposed to? Like me to place it. Oh, shit. Oh, I got to think. This one, I guess. And then that one across, maybe? A pedestal with the Understood. Huh? It went through. It doesn't seem like we can place a monument here. Okay. I guess. All on the blue ones. <laughs> I know. Um, I'll probably have to redo this. <laughs> What am I supposed to do? Wait, wait, hold on, I gotta think of this. So if we make a giant star, then the blue one, okay, the blue one's already there, so we have Oops, I'm confused. 
be like one on the side. So here, I guess. A pedestal with nothing. Understood. Is complete. Is it? <laughs> Looks pretty bad. What? Why isn't it working? The pentagram is complete. The placement of the monuments must be incorrect. The lines of the pentagram must form the golden ratio. You cannot call it a true pentagram if the shit at the very least. The placement needs. Got it. Well, I wasn't done. Okay. I was gonna do this one, that one over there, that one on the very end. Or maybe... Hold on. Because I was going to do those, that one on the side and those ones on the end. So... But then it just kind of did its own thing. Oops, I should have used one that skipped the time. I kind of just mashed through that, might be. Wait, no, oh, okay. So the yellow one automatically, okay. Okay, then I need to move this one first. I guess I've saved 20 or 5 seconds. <laughs> I definitely need to retry this. I'm gonna just re uh, Appreciate the oh. the light. <coughs> God, okay. The pentagram's complete. down
the Shovelforge world disappeared. I am back to my usual appearance. What about Iris? It appears that she is unharmed. Iba, the door to the shrine opened. Is that the fruit of immortality? It appears to be the seed of a citrus fruit of some kind. A but kidney bean. <laughs> fruit. That boy said something about the fruit of immortality. I wasn't expecting it to be literal. Some believe that the fruit of immortality is a Tachibana orange. The Tachibana orange comes from a variety of evergreen trees. So we are looking for some kind of fruit. Fruits have edible flesh surrounding the seeds. Right, but if we only have the seed... This is a dream world. If we plant it now, it may grow quickly. Iba, you ready to slash and burn? I see. If we plant it there... It sprouted. This must be a positive sign. With the ashes as compost, then all we need is... Water. Chozuya, why is it not broken? Deep. You do know this is not the Shovel Forge world, correct? But there's a pickaxe on the ground there. Pickaxe? You're right, but why? The pickaxe even looks strange. Maybe Iris left it behind because she wanted you to use it. Perhaps. I'll use it. Whoa! It's raining. So this is the fruit of immortality. We need to hand this over to Iris. Right. Hurry. Wait for me, Iris. I'm coming. Is unconscious. Oh god, that's so much. <laughs> Good thing I got these. Thank you.
okay. <laughs> Great. I didn't feel that. Oh, her eyeball. We're good. You're awake. Oh, not gonna question the eyeball. Thank you for everything you've done for me. Huh? What are you talking about? I'm gonna die. Aren't I? No. Don't talk crazy. I synced with you to save you. This has to be the timeline where you live. I don't want to die yet. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I, I met you. I wanted to spend more time with you. I wanted to go places. I'll take you. I'll take you wherever you want. I'll take you to Ijuru, Kunishir, Shikaton, Habamai. Anywhere you want, Iris. Really? Yes. I I'm gonna be okay. Of course. You won't die, I promise. Okay. I'm glad. I'm not gonna die. I can be with you forever. Of course you can. You're gonna live, Iris, forever and ever. You'll become a grown woman, get married, have kids. I'll even babysit them for you. Date, thank you. These past few days. Glad Date drew the clear line of the husband not being him. Please, Mr. Date, you can't leave me. Your back is so warm, Mr. Date. It feels like I've met you before. Then go on a date with me. And the Greek goddess of rainbows. You're the only person I can trust. Can you tell me one last thing? Make him look at me. Are you... No, no, oh, she Iris. she did. Okay. <laughs> you can't die. Please, Iris. Iris. <gasps> Sorry, Dante. I mean, I see this as a victory. <laughs> Finally, some peace and quiet. Skip this. Okay, I can. <laughs> well, at least I finished one route. Sure. I'll just make a, another save over and just. No, probably no. I, I probably won't go back to the one to see because. I probably can't change anything, but that is one ending. Woohoo! Well, that's okay. <laughs> OK. 
Okay, I'm glad that uh, it lets you pick the specific things. Instead of just like having to redo the game over and over again. Okay, well, that's cool. Um, Alrighty, I'll probably end it here. But um, I'm at least glad that I was able to get one ending. And in my books, pretty good ending. <laughs> if I say so myself. Um, uh, again, I'm not sure if I'm going to stream the whole game. Um, I have some games set up for uh, me and my friends to play. So on the days where they're not free, I might play this. I might play something else. We'll see. Uh, my main goal was really just to get at least one ending on, on here. So glad I got that going. Um... But yeah, I will most likely play this off on my own, but uh, yeah, well, we'll see. <laughs> but in any case, I'm probably going to end there. So thank you all for watching. It was fun talking to everyone and it was also pretty fun seeing or uh, playing this game. Like I, I, I'm a bit sad that it won't, like wasn't really doing well on my channel, but um, rest assured that I will play it on my end if I choose not to play it on stream um and then i'll just uh, i guess give a little update while i'll uh playing it but yeah that should be it for today then uh so i hope you guys all have a nice weekend and i will see you all on monday whatever i happen to do on monday and yeah uh up until then i will just be working on the next video which okay i have to i have to say my the video kind of got messed up where i have to re-record a lot of things so honestly i might just go ahead and make a video on something else like cyberpunk or something just to have it like on the channel because it's been a while since i've uploaded something so i will be working on both games of those but um yeah that's about it uh hope you enjoy your weekend and take care bye